Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm doing like a get ready with me every day-ish makeup routine when I feel like doing makeup. This is the look that I will be doing. Very, you know, pretty natural, pretty glowy. So if you wanna, you know, get ready with me, see how I did this. That was really cringy, oh my gosh. Keep watching. So I already took care of my skincare. I use the Mario Badescu Aloe Lotion as a toner, and then I use the Pixi Skin Treats Serum, the vitamin C. I'm new to the whole like oils thing, and I, so far, I'm liking it. Yeah, so this is what I do for my skincare routine, pretty much besides like washing my face. I like a really simple, quick, and easy routine. So this is literally the only two things I use. I already use these two on my face, so my skincare is done. Skincare is super important. You know, your makeup's only gonna perform as well as the canvas you give it. So really like take care of your skin and your makeup will start looking that much better. So to prime my face, I'm going to use a new primer that I got. I got the Optical Illusion Primer by Urban Decay. I saw this in a video from one of the YouTubers I watch and I just wanted to try it because she used it. <laughs> this is the primer. Oh, that's probably a lot. Oh, yeah. One pump of this stuff oh, should be good because this was a lot. <laughs> okay. So it feels to me really creamy. Kind of. It kind of the texture reminds me of the, um, I think it's my benefit, the poreless, professional primer, whatever that is. Kind of feels like that. Yeah, it kind of feels oily, but we'll see. So I'm going to spray some of this Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow Illuminating Face and Body Spray because I love to glow. So I'm going to spray this under my foundation because maybe like, because I don't want it to look like, you know, too much because it's like a, I'm going... Uh, to my aunt's house. I'm not like, you know, going to like a dinner party or anything. So maybe this will just shine through a little bit. Cool. Today I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape, the hydrating foundation. This is like the original one they released when they did like the matte and the hydrating and everybody hated it. I don't really mind it. Kind of works for me. So I think we're going to use this today for foundation. Why don't we tie our hair back? because I look like a thumb if I tie my hair back. That's why I don't tie my hair back. Oh well, we'll do it anyway. Okay, and I just take this and I draw lines on my face. <laughs> and then I'm going in with my Real Techniques face and body sponge. My friend just got this for me a couple weeks ago. It is huge and I love it. <laughs> doesn't feel like enough coverage to me, so I'm going to add more. Okay, so that's good enough for foundation for me. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. Recently, I've been diving back into my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm in the shade Neutralizer. And I go under my eyes like that. I do a little X, a little X, a little line, and then a little bit on my lip. <laughs> foundation and concealer so I set this with the airspun loose powder this is new to me as well I got this a couple weeks ago and I really like it oddly enough I really like the smell of it I know a lot of people are like Ugh, smells like old lady it doesn't really smell like old lady to me it smells almost like clean like cotton 
don't know, I like it. So I just take it on my beauty blender and I pat it under. <laughs> And then I will take also a Real Techniques brush. It is a Real Techniques powder brush. And I will kind of dip it in here. And just brush out over here. You know? Done. Okay. So that is powder. Oh, I just spilled that all over myself. Okay, so after I've done that, something else I've been doing recently is spraying my face between applications of powder. I just powdered my whole face, so now I'm going to go with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and just kind of give it a little mist, just because powder on top of powder can get kind of cakey, you know? Okay, so our base is pretty much done. So, please don't hate me for this, but I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for like my contour and everything. I know, you know, there's a lot of uh, negativity around Kat Von D and stuff like that. I got this like a while ago and she's expensive. I'm not, I'm not just throwing her out, you know? I use the lightest shade right here and I go in with this IT Cosmetics brush. This is actually an airbrush powder brush it says, but I use it for my, I use it for my uh, bronzer contour, but yeah. And then with my Real Techniques setting brush, it's this little guy here, I dip back into that dark shade and I tap off the excess and I lightly go over the edges of my nose. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I do is I take my powder, my Real Techniques powder brush again, and I just run over everything because I do not like harsh lines. I do not, I do not, I do not. I like everything to look perfectly blended. So then after that, I go in with my Real Technique sponge again, and I go into this super light shade over here. And I get that onto my sponge, and I just kind of wipe it underneath. Just to define that contour bronze a little bit more. So now that we've done that, we will go on with blush. I have this blush palette from Tarte. It's just their blush book. I'm not a huge blush person because I feel like I already am pretty red. I don't know. So after cleaning off my brush, I go back in with this powder brush from It Cosmetics. So the most popular like combo I do are this one right here, which is called Angelic right here. And then this one over here called Skillful down here. I mix the two of them, so I go back. I like really light hand with the blushes. And that's enough for me for blush. So after I do this, the next thing I go in and do are my eyebrows. So I have two options for my eyebrows. I either use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, or more recently, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in taupe. Both of those products are in taupe. So we're gonna use this guy today. So first I comb. I have pretty thick brows as it is. I also need to get them done desperately, but I just don't want to. And I just kind of go like this, like again, pro probably not professional, probably not how I should be doing it, but I literally just do this. Okay, and that is like it for my eyebrows. 
sometimes if I'm feeling a little, you know, fancy, I will also use my Urban Decay Brow Tamer Gel. I don't use this like every day, but just if I have my bigger makeup bag out, which I do right now, I'll just kind of comb this guy through to make sure they all stay in place. Even though even with the gel, they don't stay in place. I find, yeah, no, they do not. So after brows is when I will usually do my eyeshadow. Now, I don't know if I, if I'm not really feeling eyeshadow like today, I'm not really feeling eyeshadow. What I will do is I will go in with this setting brush. Don't, please don't cringe. <laughs> it does the job fine. And then I'll go in with my Hoola Benefit bronzer and I'll just dip this in here, tap off the excess and just kind of run it towards like the outer corner and like up in the crease. I know it's a huge brush and like y'all are probably like, what are you doing? But it's just to add some definition, you know? Just so my eyes aren't like one shade of kind of do that it's not much and you really don't even really see it but it just adds a little you know depth to the eyes instead of it just being like whatever so then after that i will go in with eyeliner i just have a couple weeks ago the Too faced better than sex eyeliner and mm, love it it's really it's like it's super black it's super good super good love me a good eyeliner and this is a good eyeliner. So I'm just gonna, eyeliner's kind of hard for me to do, so I'm gonna pull my mirror up with me, please. I'm gonna just do my eyeliner now. All right, it's not the worst. Okay, so after eyeliner, I will curl my eyelashes. I have this just like little curler. I think it's from like Harmon's. Oh, and here comes my little sister. So she's going to be interrupting. So for mascara, I use two mascaras. I go in with the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. And I also use this mini tester of the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So I use this guy first. I love long, voluminous lashes. <laughs> Oh, you look pretty. <laughs> Not ASMR, sorry. Do I look pretty? Yeah. Oh, thanks, girl. Oh, oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, so for highlight, I'm going to use the Becca Champagne Pop. Love this stuff, had it for a while. I'm going to go in with this little setting brush again, but I'm going to wipe it clean. Sam loves to glow. We're gonna put it here. Okay, and then after highlight, I will set. I use multiple setting sprays because I'm a psycho. I will go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I will also go in with my Pixi Glow Mist with rose water and green tea. Sometimes I go in with one of my Scandinavia oil control ones. I might even spray some of this stuff on there. So you know what? Let's just do a montage of us spraying ourselves. <laughs> So usually I will just wipe off the foundation and anything that got on my lips so like my pigment comes back and then I'll just put on like whatever chapstick I have near me. And this is the finished look. This is pretty much my everyday makeup routine when I actually decide to do my makeup. This is what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me everyday-ish makeup routine and I'll see you guys in my next video.